This is the personal endurance course. We call it PEX. This course gives you the feeling of running under actual battle conditions. From rope bridges to crawling under barbed wire. You push hard. Muscles strain, teeth clench. All the time your drill sergeant is there to help you through.
Again we practice, this time with bayonets. to hit the assault course. <laughs> Over walls, across trenches. Thrust. Hit the enemy, hit him hard. races through your body as you near the finish. This course is so intense that you have to remind yourself that it's not real. Now it's time to practice for our basic trainee's end of cycle test. This is what it's all about, making soldiers. Here we are tested on everything we have learned these past weeks. From first aid to communications, to map reading, guard duty, disassembling and reassembling our weapon, and the law rocket. Graduation. Today, some will leave here, others will stay on for AIT, Advanced Individual Training. Some of the soldiers that began training never finished. Some could not meet the standards, some were discharged for medical reasons, and yet others were recycled for training. But those that did complete the training are standing tall. For many, it is their first real achievement in life. For others, it is just one more successful accomplishment. Now you are a soldier, ready to go on and learn your new military skill. Ready, trained, and confident in being able to do those skills a professional is required to do. Those who remain will emerge in another five weeks part of the proud tradition of engineer. They will have learned one of the many trades available to them.
There are the bridge building teams. Don't run, don't jump on the wall. Then there are those that conduct demolition. In the million dollar hole, they will learn not only to operate heavy equipment, but also how to maintain it. Here at Brown Hall, they will learn the basics in classroom studies. They will learn electrical, plumbing, masonry, and carpentry. Open your eyes! Open your 
proudly pins this symbol on the collars of graduating AIT students. They will wear this pin proudly for the rest of their military careers. After graduation, we spend time with loved ones. But we'll never forget our days here at Fort Leonard Wood. This is where it all started. <laughs> 